Hey everybody, it's Hayden uh, from Connect. Welcome back. Uh, today's video, I'm just going to show you a neat new trick I learned um, on extracting data from Power BI. I had a, a project recently where I needed to do some further analysis on the data and I, I wanted to get a dump of the data into uh, Python. Um, this is a, a version of that data cut down, um, but you can see that there's 618,000 records um, that I have in this, this data set. Power BI um, by its, um, its limits. If you go here into more options and export data on a table, it will only ever export 30,000 rows. So, um, one thing you will need installed is DAX Studio. So if you go to and, and search for DAX Studio, uh, you can install that. If you don't have admin rights on your PC, don't worry, you can install a, a local version as a, an, an executable file. So first thing, we want to enable in Power BI visual, um, Performance Analyzer. So we're going to select this option here and it brings up this menu here. Next thing we want to then do is activate Start Recording. So this is going to start recording all of the steps that we do and how long it takes to load, etc. Now that we've done that, I want to click on the page here that we've got that data table here. You can see here that it's started to record its change page and then it's loaded this table. Okay, and what you have here is how long the query took, etc. etc. One of the key things you can do is copy that query. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take the query that DAX used to build that table. I'm going to launch DAX Studio. So once you have DAX Studio, um, if you've never used it before, you need to connect it to your data model. Um, so um, I've got my Power BI file uh, loaded, so there's only one there, so it's only one in the list, and you hit connect. Next, I'm going to paste that query that we copied from the uh, Performance Analyzer, and that's the query that um, uh, DAX uses to, uh, to load the table, so it's something you don't see in the background. Now, the, there's a limit imposed you can see here top end so this is trying to do the top 502 in this version here so if i was to run this i've got 502 rows now you can you can change this to whatever you want i've got nearly 620,000 rows so rather than change the number let's just delete this section of code so that's what we're going to do but before we do that you've got this evaluate section here that's evaluating that piece of code we need to then evaluate this up here, this variable up here, DS core, DS zero core. So if I copy and paste that, overwrite the evaluate section and just remove that and hit run. So I've run that query, I've got 110,000 records here. Um, the reason that there's not 618 is there's some aggregation and summarizing of data in this column here. Um, it's not the full 618 that it says here, which is fine uh, because for this example, it's still going to show you how to extract more than 30,000 um, records. Right, to extract it, we need to change the output here. So select this option to a file. So we're going to put that into a CSV file. And I'm going to call this... Um, video demo. So that will be saved into a CSV file. I'm just going to open that CSV file. Here I've got the data video demo here and if I scroll down to the bottom I've got the 110,000 rows. So that's a real simple easy way uh, to extract the data that you need from Power BI and get around those pesky limits that Microsoft have put in place for us. So that's it. If you like the video, please hit like, uh, please subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Stay safe.